Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing the top 10 books to kick your winter blues. These are all cozy reads that give you just that warm, happy vibe when you read them. They're entertaining, they're interesting, but they're just really cozy. Our first book is called A Deadly Inside Scoop. It's by Abby Collette. I don't own the first book in the series, but I do have the second book, Game of Clones, here. I love the covers for these. They're just so incredibly vibrant. Now you may be wondering why I'm recommending an, an ice cream shop cozy mystery series for a like winter video. However, the first book in the series, A Deadly Inside Scoop, actually takes place during the winter and I think it makes it very unique because we typically think of ice cream, we think of summer, spring, etc. However, that book takes place where Bronwyn, our main character, is taking over her family's ice cream shop, which is called the Cruise Creamery, and there's a lot of great familial relationships in this, like with her grandparents, her parents, I absolutely love it, but she's taking it over, especially with like recreating and like creating new flavors for the ice cream shop, which was what her grandmother used to do when she was alive, and it's really endearing her relationship with her grandfather and her parents, and her just taking on this family business and trying to give, like breathe new life into it, but the first book takes place during the winter so there's actually some issues with just snow building up everywhere it's really fun let's see where does it it takes place in chagrin falls ohio so it definitely has a lot of snowfall there so i really recommend it the first book the characters are really colorful and just fun to read about i love the family relationships i love her dynamics with like her two best friends i thought the mystery for the first one was pretty good i had like there was like one little part of it that, that didn't fully come together for me, but I enjoyed it enough for I'm continuing the series. I'm really excited to read this book soon. And it was just a really heartwarming, cozy read. So I really love A Deadly, Deadly Inside Scoop and I recommend that one. Uh, one that I read recently from my library that I just I have to recommend it again. I know I've talked about it a bit before my channel, but it's Marmy by Sarah Miller. And this is a retelling of Little Woman, however, by Louisa May Alcott. However, this one takes place from the point of view of the mother, Marmy. So it really fills in the gaps and the blanks of more of like their bleak financial realities, the realities of the war, the civil war that's going on during this time in America, and kind of some of the behind the scenes of some of the tragic things that happen that the girls don't see or understand the full extent of. So if you like Little Women, which if you haven't read that, that's another great cozy read, especially for like the winter and like holiday season, I think. It's one of my absolute favorites from the point of view of the mother, and you just learn a lot more about some of the interesting history of the family. I think Sarah Miller did a fantastic job. I'm a really big fan of Little Woman so I was worried going into it that it wouldn't live up to my expectations because I love the classic so much but this really was an amazing retelling and even though it does go into some of the more harsh realities of the times like the Civil War, or the poverty around them, the financial state of the family and what got them into that, which was very interesting. There's still so many cozy, heartwarming moments, just like the original, and it just it it's just one of those books that really sticks with me. I really want to own that book someday because it's just such a heartwarming tale. I definitely would reread it. So I recommend that one strongly. Another one I recently finished is Comic Sans Murder by Paige Shelton. This is part of the Dangerous Type Mystery series. This is the third book in the series. There are three in total. You can read them out of order. It's not like a huge deal if you read them out of order, but this one specifically takes place in a ski town, which I think makes it perfect for winter, and this one takes place during prime ski season, and basically it's a cozy mystery, and our main character, Claire Henry and her grandfather, they run this typewriter shop called The Rescued Word, and that basically like has services where they repair typewriters and they do like specialized printing jobs. It's really interesting. She does a lot of research on that and shares that through the characters and plot, which is really interesting to learn about. But for the mystery for this one, a boot, a ski boot is found abandoned on the ski slopes with just a, a foot in it. There's, there's nobody around, just a foot. Um, and eventually they do find a body and there's a murder mystery that takes place. And it's just during the winter time, it's very cozy, it's very interesting. There's an author in town who's actually using the printing shop's like typewriter and like typeset stuff. And he's doing that as like research for one of his upcoming books. That one's really interesting. I thought he was a really fun character, but I really enjoy the characters with this. You can see the ski boots here on the cover. And this is just a perfect winter cozy mystery. I really recommend this in the whole series. Even though it's only three books, it's very good and a very fun read, I think. Speaking of cozy, I read this graphic novel for the first time last month and it made me cry. 
and it was just so heartwarming and I had to include it on this list and it's called Wash Day Diaries by Jamila Rouser and Robin Smith and it has the most beautiful illustrations. I returned it to my library but I'll pop some on screen so you can kind of see. The color scheme in this is gorgeous. The artwork is amazing. It basically it follows four friends and it's a bunch of slice of life moments. There are some deeper scenes where it definitely deals with some tougher topics like mental health, um, like estranged family relationships but overall it's a very cozy heartwarming story about friendship and how they support each other and specifically as you would kind of infer from the title wash day diaries it goes through the four women's like different hair routines how they care for their hair how that's part of their like identity to a certain extent and also just part of like their self-care for each other sometimes the friends will do each other's hair and it's integrated into the scenes really beautifully and i love seeing how each of the four women also has their own style that they do i think that's really interesting and just it's a really beautifully designed an illustrated graphic novel very heartwarming like I cried during one of the short stories it just touched me so much and I would highly recommend it even if you're not a big graphic novels person I'm not personally but this one really stood out to me I would definitely recommend it another cozy series I would recommend just because this is one of my favorite comfort foods especially for winter and that's pizza like for me that's a comfort food let me know what your favorite comfort food is down below but I would recommend the pizza lovers mysteries by Chris Cavender this is one of the first cozy mystery series I ever read and it's still something that I really enjoy the series has stopped but there's like six or so books out in it in total the first one is a slice of murder and the second one is pepperoni pizza can be murder which I have here and I love these. These are so incredible. It takes place with two sisters, Eleanor Swift and her sister Maddie. Eleanor is more reserved. She is a widow. She's a little bit more on the quiet side and she loves to do the cooking for the pizza shop which is called a slice of delight and then her sister Maddie also works there but she's more of an extroverted person. She like is like the hostess. She kind of does like the front end things like in the business and they have the most fun relationship dynamic like they're always getting on each other's nerves they're very much relatable siblings if you personally have siblings or like reading about siblings I think you'll love this they're both in their I want to say they're about 40 like their 40s maybe and it's just such a delightful series the first book in particular takes place when Eleanor does a late night delivery with pizza and she finds the customer dead and this is like a long-term customer of theirs. She reports it to the police and she gets involved and like her ex high school sweetheart is also like the sheriff or like police chief in town so there's some drama with that but I just highly recommend these. The scenes where they describe the pizza being made will make your mouth water. Like I highly recommend having pizza on hand or something nice to snack on when you read these because it's just so it, it'll make you hungry but I really recommend these the mysteries in these were always solid I loved the relationships between the two sisters the pizza shop and learning about how it was run and like the other employees and just everything about it how the pizza was made is just delicious really really recommend that um, if you're somebody who's kind of in a reflective mood if you want to kind of learn something and like reflect but you want something that's a little more cozy and just maybe like a lighter read I would recommend this nonfiction book it's called Brainstorm Unleashing Your Creative Self by Don Han and he's the producer of The Lion King and Beauty and the Beast so regardless of what kind of creativity you're trying to explore so if you're you know you're a writer you're a baker you're a painter um you know you're somebody who wants to play be like an actor or something don han who is a film producer basically goes into his method for increasing your creativity and like just embracing creativity in your day-to-day -day life he also shares a lot of behind the scenes about how he developed some of his big like disney hits and like how his team worked and everything so if you're somebody who's a disney fan like myself or you're interested in the behind the scenes of like production like film production i think you'll find this interesting this book's pretty short it's only it's a little less than uh 300 pages and it also talks about like just keeping your spirits alive, your passion, like caring for yourself, like wellness stuff. So it kind of, it's like a multifaceted, holistic look at creativity and the artistic person. So whether or not you consider yourself like an artist, like this is still going to be like a really insightful read for you. 
regardless of your personal ambitions and what you want to like achieve in life. I think it's just a fascinating read be between the behind the scenes, between the advice for everyday life, between the creativity and like different exercises he gives throughout this. I highly recommend that. So this next one is just hilarious. This was a really great cozy mystery. It's the first in a series. It's called Two Parts Sugar, One Part Murder. And this is written by Valerie Burns. And this one takes place with our main character, Maddie, who is like a social media manager, or like expert. That's kind of what her job is. However, she finds out that a relative has passed away and left her their like bakery and their big home and like a bunch of financial assets and things. However, the the like catch is, is that she has to stay there and live within the family home, take care of this giant mastiff named Baby, and run the bakery. Now Maddie knows absolutely nothing about baking. Like she doesn't cook, she doesn't bake, she knows nothing about this at all. She's never worked in a bakery. Um, she doesn't really like dogs that much, so she's kind of stuck with this like 200 pound mastiff, which if you're gonna be stuck with a dog, I mean that is a dog like that. That's like a human you're, you're caring for. That's a huge, huge animal, huge responsibility. Um, however, during the book, of course, she starts to warm up to Baby. Baby starts to warm up to her. And she starts to discover that her, I believe it's her aunt, the, fa the family member that passed away, might have had some secrets. And there's some different things happening around town. And someone actually ends up being murdered with one of the bakery's knives stuck in their back. So she and the other employees in the shop are suspects because they had access to the murder weapon. So the police are investigating and Maddie's trying to figure out what happened. She's trying to learn more about her aunt's past and it's just a really good read. Maddie's very, she has like a good like comedic streak to her. She's a little bit of an unlikable character at first, but you kind of get to see her develop throughout the book. And this does take place in Michigan. And Maddie is not used to cold weather, like, at all. I think she moved from, like, a warmer big city, and now she's, like, in the middle of nowhere. I think it's called New Bison, Michigan. And it's, like, this really snowy, like, small town culture, and she's just kind of in this culture shock, shocked by the weather. So it's just really fun reading about that, and it's just a perfect winter cozy mystery. You got all the baking. It's delicious. I absolutely recommend it. If you also like baking, I recommend the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series. Specifically, I would recommend book two in the series for winter, like, wintry vibes. That one's called Buttercream Bump Off and that one takes place during Valentine's Day and it's just, it's a hoot. It's absolutely a hoot. So the Cupcake Bakery Mystery Series involves our main character Mel and her best friend Angie and they run the fairy tale cupcakes shop. It does take place in Scottsdale, Arizona so there's not going to be like snow or anything. However, it does take place during Valentine's Day which I think is a fun theme for winter to read about. And basically Mel and her best friend Angie are getting ready for Valentine's Day. Of course this is one of the biggest holidays of the year for a bakery. However, something goes tragically wrong when Mel's mother goes on a date with Baxter and Baxter ends up dead. So Mel's mother is one of the suspects, like a prime suspect for Baxter's death because of their date. And so Mel and Angie are on the case trying to figure out what it is and to clear Mel's mother's name. It's a heartwarming mystery. You can read book one first if you want to. You can read them out of order if you want. This is one you can jump around in. This is just one of the books I own, Carmel Crush. I recently finished. It's one of my favorites in the series. And Buttercream Bump Off was one of my favorites. It was just really fun. The Valentine's Day theme is great and it's just really cozy. It's perfect to cozy up. With. Okay, and last but not least, we have one more cozy read, and that is Murder in a Scottish Shire by Tracy Hall. This is the first in the Scottish Shire mystery series, and I fell head over heels with this series. I just read the first book, this book here, in December, and I cannot wait. I'm on hold for the second book right now with my library. I can't wait to get my hands on it. And for me, this book is very cozy for the winter time because I associate knitting with winter basically because like I associate knitting with like winter weather clothing so it just kind of clicks in my head. Paisley is a 28 year old single mom and she has one son who's like eight or nine his name is Brody and things are going okay she runs a knitting shop where she does custom orders for sweaters and different things and she also sells yarn as you can see from like all the yarn stocked here in the background. She also has an adorable Scottish terrier which I personally love. I think Scottish terriers are darling and basically everything's going okay until one day she arrives at work and she finds out that the landlord is like closing the place that she's renting for her 
shop. She also has a visit from the police and they have her grandfather who they found sleeping on a bench in the park and her grandfather is not happy to be caught. He does, He's like estranged from her but she takes him in anyways and then she also finds out that an employee that was going to be coming back to work for them is murdered. So she, this is like one morning where just everything explodes. Like her whole life goes up in flames between worrying about her shop, her grandfather, this ex-employee, like everything is blowing up in her face right now and she has to kind of tackle it. There's a lot of great warm family moments with the grandfather and Paisley and his grandson Brody as they start to kind of bond together throughout the book. The mystery itself was really solid. I really enjoyed the mystery and how everything was executed. It was it was a really good cozy mystery in my opinion and this just had so many great cozy vibes. I really fell in love with the characters and the Scotland setting is just excellent. I think that's just really fun to read about so would highly recommend that. And that finishes our list today for nine cozy books to beat the winter blues. I hope you found this helpful. Let me know down below what is your favorite book to read to beat those winter blues. Do you have one that you return to every year or do you have like a type of book that you like? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I do post new book content every week especially within the mystery genre if you like that and I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a great rest of your day. Bye!